Hello and welcome to News Click. Spain is going through a spate of political protests by mostly the youth in various cities uh, in the country. Uh, even as the country is going through a financial crisis, it is still not recovered completely from the financial crisis. We have with us Marco Berlinger, prominent journalist and a left political activist who has been uh, in, who is based out in Barcelona now and with whom we shall discuss this issue of the so-called Indignats protests in Spain, uh, featuring uh, youth protesting in droves uh, by encamping on uh, in public places, on, on uh, squares, uh, uh, on uh, municipal property and so on. Now is this a result of the severe unemployment problem where close to 20% of the workforce and even nearly 40% of the youth is unemployed and uh, is this an anger against uh, the mismanagement of the financial situation by the government? Yes, of course, uh, the, the, the basic conditions which created the, this movement are uh, related with the crisis, particularly the crisis for the youth here and, and the absence of uh, perspective that the uh, young people perceive right. in the situation. Uh, but also other, other sectors are heavily affected by the crisis. Here in particular, it's very important uh, the situation which uh, uh, affected many families uh, about uh, the crisis on their capacity to pay the mortgages, and so they are suffering attempts to uh, evictions, uh, and uh, and it's also very very speculative the law that protects the banks compared with the clients, etc. But uh, there, there is a big a big problems of uh, there are big problems of of unemployment uh, and of uh, absence of uh, perspective and also public uh, uh, cuts, right. public digital cuts that are uh, starting to affect uh, fundamental uh, services and uh, parts of the welfare state here in Spain. Right. This is one part. Right. I would say that the second part is a, a, a fracture that uh, is growing between society and political systems. Right. So uh, fundamental source right. of this movement, right. and, and uh, probably that is the most impressive uh, character of this movement, because uh, this movement has been uh, quite transversal in terms of uh, political belonging. No? So people uh, of uh, center left or center right uh, both uh, participated or sympathized right. with this movement, right. exactly because of this uh, distrust they have uh, with the political system right. and also because of this sense of uh, exactly of uh, indignation that uh, they uh, generated uh, also because of, as we know no, the, the financial crisis has been uh, managed in a way which is scandalous no, in terms of uh, who is going to be saved and who is going to pay right. and, and that is uh, something that uh, created a sense of scandalous in all the populations right. here in Spain for some reason all this produced this uh, very, very interesting, unexpected and, uh, and uh, impressive mobilization of the people. Right. Uh, so, as you point out yourself, one assessment of the protests is that uh, it, is, uh, it is a reflection of the disenchantment against the uh, established two-party system, uh, where power alternates between the conservatives, who are now in opposition, and the uh, socialists, who have been in the helm through the economic crisis in Spain. Now, is there a political alternative that is emerging out of the protests, or is it emerging at all, or uh, what kind of political message is coming out from these protests? Well, it's not easy to articulate the, the demands of this movement because it's, uh, it's very, very diverse in its uh, composition, and, and it came out without any um, organization. So, these uh, squares, uh, crowd of people, were impressive in terms of it, it, it gave you a sense of uh, the original uh, function of the squares in the old uh, um, cities in the Greek uh, times, no? In the old Greek, Greek times, in, ter in terms of uh, where people meet and start to discuss about common issues and. But uh, so it, at the beginning was also very difficult to systematize and, and to and to uh, select the issues and to converge on on, on the priorities etc. Right. What I would say in general is that they are trying to articulate uh, 
many different proposals and you and they systematized uh, along this uh, process different documents and they are mainly I would say working either with the, the reform of the political system trying to uh, get a more democratic and representative and accountable uh, political system and uh, on the emergencies that uh, as I said you for example the, the situation in the in the mortgage, mortgages uh, crisis uh, and they are also intervening uh, uh, actively blocking the attempts to evict people from their home right. so these are the most uh, visible and the most uh, uh, advanced uh, proposals and, and interventions then it's like if uh, this movement opened a space uh, where to rethink because uh, we think uh, the, 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 the society and, and the future, because uh, uh, I would say that this is the, the sense that is common in the people, the, the sense that uh, one system is exhausted and, and the elites uh, and, and the establishment is not able to provide solutions, right. so we have to change, right. but uh, we have to, who, to develop a, a thinking, an organization, so it, it's a hard work and it's just, it's just at the beginning. And there is this awareness of a kind of long-term uh, work that uh, still has to be done in the future. Uh, let's talk specifically of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the political process in uh, Spain as of now. Now, uh, you know, in one sense you could say that the so-called left politics or social democracy uh, in Spain is now threatened by the poor handling of the economy by the Socialist Party. Now, so is Spain headed the Scandinavian way where, where you know, the right has emerged as a major force in countries like Sweden? Uh, so despite the protests that are taking place with, uh, with respect to the Indignas movement, the popular perception is that the, the, the right, the, the, uh, the, the PP party uh, is going to gain, the conservatives is going to gain. So uh, Spain is also headed the Scandinavian way in that sense. Could one make an assessment in that fashion? Yeah, that's true. And uh, we exactly in the way of, uh, of the emerging of the movement, we had uh, uh, the local election here in, uh, in Spain. And they have been uh, won in an in a unprecedented way by the popular party, so the right wing party. Uh, he won, he won uh, almost everywhere, right. including in towns and regions where traditionally always uh, governed the Socialist Party. Right. Right. And so that's true what you say. There, there is a kind of also of, of a paradox because in, in some way you could say that even if this movement is not easily uh, representable through the po traditional political uh, parties, there is a kind of progressive, uh, clear progressive tendency that is uh, dominant in the, in the movement uh, and its composition. But uh, I would say that first the socialists really disillusioned uh, their its own uh, their own uh, electorate. So the abstention mainly affected the, the socialist party, and uh, and second. Uh, Probably the, the people uh, want want to see a change. Now you know in this kind of system where you have two parties, right. once one fails, you change. Right. But uh, the, the protest of the people w was exactly about this kind of uh, very limited alternative you have uh, at hand. You know, in this system, because uh, in the fundamental uh, policies at the end there, there aren't so many differences in the two parties so you change the people but uh, you don't expect a big change in terms of uh, 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 policies no and so it's a uh, it's a bit trapped you know the system and that was part of the of the reasons of the movement they they call they cried you no know, in the in the in the squares in the demonstrations you don't represent us right. meaning you all, no? So there it was this kind of sense of uh, distance from the political system as such, not toward one specific uh, uh, political party. So, uh, so in the demands, are they asking for some kind of a proportional, proportional representation system, an open list system to 
ensure that uh, independents and other smaller uh, or smaller organizations would also get the chance at uh, articulating their views in the political system yeah that's a uh, 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 specific and uh, and explicit uh, uh, request because uh, here in spain as in italy as in uh, other countries we have a majoritarian systems which uh, uh, in some way uh, the form, not the, the the expression of the of the votes, and and advantage uh, the the majoritarian parties, no? And and in Spain is very strong this kind of uh, um, advantages that uh, the majoritarian parties get from the electoral system, and there is a request of having a kind of a much more proportional form of representation of the votes and so much more space for uh, the smaller parties.